the eviction moratorium. So that is going to end very soon. And we know that the next 12 months will be the hardest time. Clark County, local justice courts, the state and area cities have collaborated on an effort to keep people in their homes as the pandemic continues to cause financial hardship to homeowners and tenants. The state and federal eviction moratoriums are ending, prompting local leaders to create a strategy to satisfy renters and landlords. We are rolling out a program with that collaboration to support um, eviction prioritization. And with that moratorium ending, and, and as we move forward, this collaboration has not existed in the history of the state. So what this will allow for is a connection point between mediators, um, the CHAP Rental Assistance Program, and Clark County in conjunction with the courts. The Southern Nevada Eviction Prevention Program is a neutral platform and can help qualifying households from being removed from their homes by offering rental assistance, legal advice, and mediation. The goal is to create a mutually beneficial agreement between tenants and landlords. Documentation is vital, and if you owe back rent or have already received an eviction notice, you should promptly file a response with the local justice court involved. Overall, I would ask patience. We're not sure what we're going to see. We're not sure whether uh, this new surge is going to put a backlog on our ability to hold the number of hearings that we can hold each week. Traditionally, our hearings have been set in about seven to 10 business days, and that may be extended uh, only because the court's capacity to handle them. We will do everything we can, and the Las Vegas Justice Court, as well as Henderson and North Las Vegas, are committed to uh, moving our cases along as, as we can, <laughs> getting them heard as quickly as we can. The Legal Aid Center of Southern Nevada is an advocate in protecting the rights of tenants facing eviction and they strongly urge those behind on their rent or facing eviction to take four simple steps. So step number one, a tenant needs to, if they are eligible, sign a CDC declaration and give it to their landlord to get the protection of that CDC moratorium that will last until July 1. Step two, a tenant needs to apply for rental assistance through the CHAP program. Step three, if a tenant gets an eviction notice, the tenant absolutely must file an answer with the justice court. And that is now easier than ever to do. Tenants can actually do that from their own home online without ever going to the courthouse. Step four, when the tenant files that answer with the court, the tenant needs to elect mediation so that they have the opportunity to go into that mediation program and, and sit down with their landlord and potentially work out a resolution. The best place to start is at the Legal Aid Center of Southern Nevada. Give them a call at 702-386-1070 or go online to civillawselfhelpcenter.org.